In a span of just days, hundreds of earthquakes have rattled the southern part of the San Andreas fault line, sending shockwaves across California. This sudden swarm of seismic activity has reignited a haunting question that has loomed over the region for decades. Is the big one finally on the horizon? With this, millions of people are once again reminded of the delicate balance on which life in this seismically active region precariously rests. Experts are scrambling to analyze these events, yet the Earth remains an enigma, offering clues that are often as unsettling as they are unclear. Are these tremors a prelude to a disaster of unimaginable magnitude? Or are they simply the planet's natural release of pressure? Today, let's delve into the recent earthquake swarm at the San Andreas Fault and the major earthquake that is waiting to happen. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The San Andreas Fault is not a single crack in the Earth's crust, but rather a complex system of interconnected faults. It is categorized as a right lateral strike slip fault, where the Pacific Plate moves northwest relative to the North American Plate. The fault is divided into three main segments the northern, central, and southern sections, each with distinct characteristics and levels of seismic activity. The northern segment runs from the Mendocino Triple Junction in Northern California to the San Francisco Bay Area. This section was responsible for the devastating 1906 San Francisco earthquake. The central segment, known as the creeping section, experiences continuous slow movement, which reduces the buildup of stress and minimizes the risk of large earthquakes. However, it's the southern segment, stretching from the Cajon Pass to the Salton Sea, that has not experienced a major earthquake in over 300 years, raising fears of a significant seismic event in the near future. The big one refers to a hypothetical earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8 or higher that would strike the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault. Scientists estimate that such an earthquake would release immense energy comparable to the detonation of hundreds of atomic bombs. The ground shaking could last for several minutes, causing widespread destruction across Southern California. The consequences of the big one would be catastrophic. The USGS estimates a 7% chance of a magnitude 8.0 earthquake occurring in California within the next 30 years. The likelihood of a magnitude 7.5 earthquake striking the southern San Andreas Fault is significantly higher, at approximately 33% within the same time frame. Recently, in September 2024, Southern California broke the record for the most magnitude 4 and above earthquakes in a single year after a magnitude 4.7 earthquake and 5 aftershocks occurred. The average number of magnitude 4 and above earthquakes for this region is about 8 per year, but this time around 14 earthquakes were reported. The unusually high number of quakes in recent weeks is raising fears that the region's long overdue big one is coming. Previously, in August 2024, a magnitude 5.3 earthquake hit Bakersfield and was felt over 100 miles away at Dodger Stadium where nearly 50,000 people were attending a game. Days later, a magnitude 4.4 earthquake struck Pasadena, in essentially the same location as a magnitude 3.5 quake that occurred in June 2024. While the recent swarms can be unsettling, seismic activity is quite common for the area. Seismic swarms often occur due to changes in stress within the Earth's crust. This increase in activity could be attributed to a variety of factors, including the movement of magma, the release of built-up tectonic stress, or interactions between neighboring faults. While most of these earthquakes do not pose an immediate threat, their frequency raises questions about whether they could be precursors to a larger, more destructive event. The recent earthquakes are not yet statistically significant, meaning that experts can't be sure whether the increase is part of a larger trend or just a blip. 
Therefore, scientists can't infer any information about the big one from these latest quakes. But advancements in earthquake forecasting could eventually help us narrow down a timeline for when it might strike. For example, a new study has identified a link between the strength of faults and the size of earthquakes, which could provide a way to determine how close an area is to facing a major seismic event. But researchers clarified that this doesn't mean we can forecast the exact timing of a future earthquake. But the findings could help scientists estimate when a fault has reached a critical point. California experiences several hundred earthquakes of magnitude 3.0 or above each year, but only few typically exceed magnitude 4.0. The recent earthquake was also part of what scientists are terming the Southern California Earthquake Swarm, which has been generating interest among geologists and residents alike due to its frequency and potential implications. In 2006, a study by a group of geophysicists sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Through meticulous analysis of decades' worth of data, the team uncovered a deeply unsettling reality. The southern segment of the San Andreas Fault had reached a critical stress threshold, making it susceptible to a catastrophic rupture of magnitude 7.0 or higher. This revelation carried chilling implications. The expansive metropolitan area surrounding Los Angeles, home to millions, was perched atop a seismic time bomb. The southern stretch of the fault which traverses San Bernardino, Riverside, and imperial counties in California, as well as the Mexican border region, had not undergone a significant release of built-up tectonic strain in over three centuries. As the Pacific and North American plates continue their relentless collision, enormous forces are steadily accumulating, stretching the fault line to its breaking point. With each passing year, the threat of a catastrophic rupture grows more pronounced, a significant earthquake along the southern San Andreas Fault would unleash devastation unparalleled in modern times. Older buildings, ill-prepared for such violent shaking, could collapse like houses of carts, while soil liquefaction in coastal areas could destabilize entire neighborhoods. Beyond the immediate epicenter, the shockwaves would ripple outward, shaking the very foundations of the region's infrastructure. Infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and buildings, would suffer severe damage. Utility systems such as water, electricity, and gas could be disrupted for weeks or even months. Emergency services would be overwhelmed, and economic losses could reach hundreds of billions of dollars. The densely populated cities of Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and Riverside would bear the brunt of the impact with aftershocks potentially compounding the devastation. This underscores the critical need for readiness and proactive measures to mitigate potential impacts of a major earthquake. Regardless of when the big one strikes, California has taken significant steps to prepare for such an event. Building codes in earthquake-prone regions have become much more stringent over the past several decades. Modern buildings are now designed with seismic retrofitting, base isolators, and flexible materials that can absorb and withstand the shaking produced by a major earthquake. In addition, community awareness and preparedness programs have become more prevalent. Cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco hold annual earthquake drills, and residents are encouraged to create emergency kits, secure heavy furniture, and develop family communication plans. However, there remains a great deal of work to be done in terms of retrofitting older structures, especially those in vulnerable areas. Many buildings, particularly in older neighborhoods, are not up to modern earthquake standards, posing a significant risk when the big one does occur. While the recent surge in earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault is concerning, it also serves as a wake-up call to prioritize earthquake preparedness and resilience. Governments, scientists, and communities must work together to address the challenges posed by seismic activity. Investments in infrastructure, education, and technology will be essential to mitigate the impact of future earthquakes. 
With continued attention from both scientists and local governments, the hope is to maintain safety and awareness among the public about the seismic realities of living near fault lines. The big one may or may not occur in our lifetime, but the threat of a major earthquake along the San Andreas Fault is ever-present. By taking proactive measures and fostering a culture of preparedness, we can reduce the potential for loss of life and property when the next major earthquake strikes.